Hello and welcome to Mystic Mia Tarot. This is a reading for the Capricorn Collective. This is a timeless reading. When you come to hear these messages, it is the perfect time for you to hear them. Please like, comment, subscribe uh, if this reading resonates with you. The artwork in the frame is original. If interested, please see information in the description box. It is a blue jay, and um, oftentimes you'll see blue jays in the winter, and winter is Capricorn season. So these birds are so gorgeous. They're so beautiful. There's, uh, you know, several backyard birds that we have in uh, the location. I'm on the East Coast. And there's, um, they're just stunning. And uh, I am into birding. And um, I am going to be starting an, another YouTube channel um, on birding. So look out for that one. Um, I'll let you guys know when, when that has been posted. Um, but in this area, there are several beautiful birds and the blue jay is arguable arguably one of the most beautiful. So, enough about birding. <laughs> we'll get into your reading, Capricorn. Sorry about that. Um, birds are messengers from the divine, though. And so when you do see a bird, please um, take note of it. And maybe look it up online, see if there's any kind of significant meaning. Um, I'll do that for the blue jay, and I'll, I'll post the info in the description box. So I've already pre-shuffled a few different decks and laid out a Celtic cross. We're gonna start with uh, a card to represent the, per the person currently on your mind. And um, this could be their p potential astro sign. Um, and the card that I pulled is the emperor. The emperor has been haunting my readings. Um, so perhaps you're dealing with an Aries or someone with Aries in their placement. And this card also sets the tone for our reading. That is the Gentle Thrills Tarot. Um, maybe a bunch of the Aries are, are in relationships right now. I don't know, but hopefully. Um, so the Emperor is a leader. Uh, it's sometimes, um, like I would say this is the boss of the tarot deck. So this person that you're dealing with may be, um, somewhat domineering, uh, perhaps even a bit controlling and very much a leader, very much in control of their life and, um, a pioneer of sorts. Aries is the first sign in, on the zodiac wheel. And so they're, often considered like the baby of the zodiac. I'm a Gemini, which is the third sign, and that is like the toddler <laughs> of the um, of the zodiac. So anyway, children may be a factor in your relationship situation. So we're starting the Celtic cross with the Queen of Pentacles. So this is someone I would venture to say this is representing you, uh, Capricorn. It is actually late Sagittarius, early Capricorn, as far as um, its astro symbolism. And so it is your card. Um, and this is a person who has their life together, has um, a good job, um, has work-life balance going on, is responsible. It's the ideal spouse. It could be a uh, male or female. Practical, motherly, down to earth. So this is you uh, showing up in your own reading and you know you have a lot to offer and you will not settle for anything but the best. I'm just getting a sip of coffee. Okay. You're crossed by the fool in reverse. So in spite of, you know, your practicality, there is this 
part of you that is a bit reckless. Um, maybe again, in regards to this, this person that you're thinking about, maybe you're um, naive about them or even foolish and risk-taking. You know, you have to be careful. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of energy vampires out there and it is a predatory universe that we live in. So, you know, if you are putting yourself out there into the dating world, you know, be aware of that. If you're already in a relationship, just be aware that people can betray and take advantage of someone um, who has a good, you know, a good heart. So anyway, um, the Fool also is a card of Aries. So again, we have like double confirmation that you may be dealing with an Aries. You're crowned by the Three of Swords in reverse. Um, I'm just going to say the signs as I see them. This is a card of Libra. You could be dealing with a Libra. This is a card of heartbreak in the upright. Like you've been stabbed through the heart three times. In the reverse, uh, perhaps you're in a place of healing right now. You're releasing the pain um, and you're coming towards um, optimism and forgiveness. So maybe this uh, person that you've been dealing with, there's been some sort of a separation and you're starting to release the pain. In the distant past, uh, you have the 10 of cups. So this is the card of Pisces. Uh, maybe this relationship started off really, 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 really well. Ten of Cups is like the happily ever after card. Um, the white picket fence with the beautiful house, the little puppy dog running around your feet, 2.5 children, um, well, vacations in Bermuda, um, you know. So maybe this is how this relationship began with a lot of love there too, with Ten Cups. Um, but in the recent past, you do have the four of cups reversed. So this is the card, uh, a card of cancer. And, um, this is like the missed opportunity card. And, uh, it can indicate boredom or being aloof or being like, oh, I don't, I don't want what you have to offer. And so perhaps, um, you know, the person on your mind um, kind of refused you in some way. You were offering their cup, you were offering a cup of love and they denied it. And um, in the future, you do have the seven of cups reverse. So there's a lot of cup energy right now. I mean, that's the most prominent um, element on the table. We have a lot of pentacles coming, so just, you know, bear that in mind. But, um, and Capricorns love money. <laughs> but who doesn't love money? I mean, it's like, it's sort of unfair to just say, oh, Capricorns are obsessed with money. Um, they are traditionally associated with money, though, just FYI. Um, but anyway, this, this card in the future, you may be tested. Um, there may be some temptation in the future. Um, if there has been a separation, perhaps the person might be returning, um, and tempting you, but they may, um, use some diversionary tactics, uh, and illusion to convince you to come back. So just Bear that in mind. Upright, this card indicates a lot of different choices. And in reverse, it could mean like you're honing in on just one choice. Maybe this person on your mind. It is the card of Scorpio. In your environment, you have the Four of Swords. So you've been resting. Um, 
taking a time out, con contemplating things, um, recuperating and relaxing. This is a card of Libra. And um, so you just been kind of like thinking about things uh, in regards to this person. How you're being seen is the six of pentacles. Like I said, there's a lot of pentacles coming up. So I'm going to count the number of each element um, when we get to the end. Um, there is an absence of wands right now. And uh, so the six of pentacles, they see you as someone who is very generous, charitable, um, someone who does does contribute equally. There's an equal give and take. And um, so they see you as very generous. And then you have the seven of pentacles in your hopes and fear position. And the eight of pentacles is your outcome. And I just want to say all three in, in a row because it's like a six, seven, eight, which means there could be some progression going on um, with the person on your mind as opposed to regression. There's, you know, something that's building and um, the seven of pentacles in your hopes or fear. You're hoping that, you know, you've made a wise investment in this person and that you're going to be able to um, reap the, the bounty of your, you know, your harvest. It also can indicate um, profit, reward. Um, so you're hoping for a reward. Um, maybe your fear is that you're going to be waiting indefinitely for this person to get their stuff together. Um, both the six and seven of pentacles are the card of Taurus. And in your outcome, you have the eight of pentacles, which is Virgo. A lot of earth earth signs here. I think earth and earth do work well together. Um, although, you know, sometimes it's good to mix it up. Like, um, I think earth and air do well or earth and fire. The eight of pentacles indicates, um, like a willingness to work on something. So maybe in the future, your person, it will be willing to work on this relationship. Uh, it also can indicate, you know, mastering something. So um, maybe, um, you know, you'll, you'll master and understand how to work together on this relationship so that it actually can, um, survive. Uh, it also could indicate just putting your head down and, and focusing on work. Um, there's so many pentacles in this reading at this point. Let me just add up in my head how many we have. Um, so we have 22 pentacles and we have, um, looks like 21 cups, we have seven swords, and one major arcana, the full. So um, there's an equal amount of like love and resources um, in this reading. So it's pretty positive. Um, we're going to clarify a little bit more by... using my Zodiac Tarot deck. And we're gonna get the energy of the person on your mind towards you, your energy towards them, and the outcome of this cycle.
repeating message right off the bat. Okay, so in your person's energy toward you is the Seven of Pentacles reversed. So we had the Seven of Pentacles upright in your hopes or fear position. So maybe they're fearing um, that investing in, in this relationship with you will not um, give them the, the reward that they're looking for. It's like a, a limited, um, sorry, limited reward for a lot of effort. But they may come towards you with the Page of Cups um, love offer. It could be an immature love offer. It could be a bit fishy. Um, they are kind of sitting um, with all their cups around them in the Nine of Cups. You could be a, a wish for fulfillment for this person, but they also have this energy of like, I'm okay on my own and I have all my cups around me and I'm thriving. So just bear that in mind. And how you're feeling toward them is the Hierophant, the card of Taurus. Um, you feel like they're a teacher to you. Um, you feel like you would commit to this person if they came towards you correctly. Um, and you feel that they're maybe a little bit rigid in their, their morality. Uh, you also feel the Six of Swords, which is a card of, um, it's like a regretful but necessary transition. So maybe you feel like you're transitioning away from this person. Uh, in this particular deck, it's um, a woman on her own in the boat. Sometimes in the Rider Waite, there's a couple in the boat. But in this case, it's just one person. So maybe you're feeling like you need to let this relationship situation go. And you also have the Page of Swords in reverse, the Stalker card. So maybe you've been stalking them a little bit and you feel that there's been a lack of communication. Maybe you're in a period of silence. In the outcome, you have the sun in reverse. Um, usually the sun upright is the happiest card in the deck of tarot. Um, sometimes in the reverse, it can indicate unhappiness, um, or it can just indicate that the sun that was shining so brightly has gone behind the clouds. It's not to say that it can't come back out again, but it's, it's um, gone behind the clouds. And you have the Seven of Swords, which is, um, you know, I, I feel like this may be um, a warning because, you know, in the, in the Celtic Cross, there was um, a prediction of, like, temptation coming in. Um, this person may not be uh, someone you can trust. With the Seven of Swords, uh, they may lie, they may cheat, they may betray. Um, it could be you, you know, taking, taking your swords, um, you know, collecting swords up so that they can't be used against you. And in the, the final card um, is a repeating message, but this time it's upright and it is the three of swords. Um, so this is, this is the card of heartbreak, like feeling stabbed through the heart and, um, grieving and, uh, just dealing with basically the death of a relationship. So it, it seems like this relationship has ended or will end fully in the near future. Sorry, Capricorn. All the readings have been breakup readings lately. So I think a lot of people are just um, kind of 
kind of moving on. But it looks like, you know, maybe something in the in the future will be coming, like the six, seven, and eight of pentacles. I'm just gonna see if we can um, draw a card to represent, um, or we're gonna do three cards. We'll do three cards to represent what's coming in next because it looks like this relationship you've been in is ending. What's coming in next for Capricorn? Okay, so um, it's funny because um, I got your energy once again, but um, it sort of flip-flopped. So you have the Hierophant reverse. So um, maybe there is, there's a Taurus baby coming in, um, possibly. Uh, and maybe you are feeling like um that you're regressing because you have the six of swords reverse and um that can also indicate a return so maybe um you are you know you may may have trouble moving on you know, that, that could be what, what this is. Like, you're not really, you're kind of refusing to learn with the Hierophant reversed and having trouble moving on. Um, but then you also have the Page of Swords. So uh, perhaps maybe um, you'll meet somebody um, young. Pages are younger. Um, maybe they're younger than you. Uh, maybe they're an air sign. Um, maybe they're like uh, earth air, like with the Taurus, maybe like late Taurus, early Gemini, something like that. Um, and this can indicate like messages and, you know, good communication. So that's always a great thing. Um, all right. That was a little bonus for you, Capricorn. I hope you liked it. Um... I know breakups are difficult. I think they're very underrated how difficult they can be. But it looks like your money is going to be good coming in um, as well. I didn't mention that, but, you know, you have the six, seven, and eight of pentacles and your Celtic cross. Like, that could be like um, your wealth is slowly building. All right, we're going to do a little bibliomancy to um, get a bit more information from the divine. So uh, I'm going to use this book by Carlos Castaneda. If you want to just quiet your mind and think of a question, uh, I will open randomly and we'll get an answer. Hey, hey, Mr. Acosta, I yelled. Can I come with you? I noticed that he had stopped walking. It was again more a feeling than an actual sight because the bush was so thick. You can certainly come with me if you can find an entry into the bush, he said. That wasn't difficult for me. In my hours of idleness, I had marked an entry into the bush with a good-sized rock. I had found out through an endless process of trial and error, that there was a crawling space there, which, if I followed for three or four yards, turned into an actual trail on which I could stand up and walk. Okay, so hopefully that resonates in some way. Um, I did pull a card to represent the person on your mind from my Celebrity Love Oracle deck, and I got Jonathan Van Ness. So I've done a little research on this guy um, because I didn't know who he was, um, but apparently he's a, a celebrity hairstylist. And so, um, and 
coincidentally, he is an Aries, um, which has been uh, very strong in your reading. Um, so maybe your person is into hair. Maybe it's a guy with longer hair, a beard and a mustache. Maybe they're on the lean side. Uh, maybe they're like the hot Jesus. <laughs> I was just talking to a friend the other day about like, oh, I met a hot Jesus at the bar. It's, it's, uh, yeah, you all know what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, the card itself says a little beard pomade will take you to the next level. This sofa has lived its best life, but now it's got to go. There is no such thing as too much of your beautiful face, Henny. Okay, so hopefully that resonates with you, Capricorn. I'm going to finish off the reading with a yes or no question to the universe um, using my not so trusty crystal ball crystal. Uh, so hopefully she will answer on the first try. If she doesn't, we will try again. Um, so please quiet your mind and think of a question. And I will ask. Cannot predict now. Cannot predict now. We'll try again. My sources say no. My sources say no. Okay. Anyway, Capricorn, thank you so much for being here. It's um, such an honor to read for you. And um, if this reading resonated, please like, comment, share, subscribe. If interested in the Blue Jay, please see info in the description box. And may the source be with you.